Welcome back to Touch Trove, your trusted source for the latest updates in the world of technology. This week has been jam-packed with big stories. Microsoft is preparing to launch Windows 11 version 25H2. We have fresh details about Windows 10's final updates and extended support. Some minor but important Windows Insider builds. Qualcomm's next-gen Snapdragon X2 processors for ARM-based PCs, new AI updates across Microsoft's ecosystem, and even some exciting gaming news from the Tokyo Game Show 2025. So, if you love staying updated with Microsoft, Windows, AI, and gaming, grab your favorite drink and stick around, because this week's recap has something for everyone. Windows 11 and Windows 10, major updates. You shouldn't miss. Let's start with Microsoft's flagship product. Windows, the spotlight is firmly on. Windows 11 version 25H2. Many users noticed this week that official download links for Windows 11 25H2 and its enablement packages are already live on Microsoft servers. What does this mean? It means the update is practically ready for prime time, and if you're impatient, you don't need to wait for the public rollout. You can install it today. Now, here's where things get interesting. If your PC doesn't meet the official hardware requirements, you're not out of luck. Tools like Rufus 4.10 and Flyubi make it possible to install Windows 11 25H2 on unsupported hardware. Rufus 4.10 even got a new dark mode and full 25H2 compatibility, making the process much smoother. Flyubi has also been optimized for 25H2, so performance is far more reliable on older systems. For those who do wait for the official release, 25H2 promises better performance, stability, and feature updates designed to keep Windows ahead of the curve. Microsoft is clearly preparing for a big launch. But that's not all. Microsoft has been busy patching its older versions too. While Windows 11 24H2 skipped its usual monthly non-security patch, Microsoft rolled out an out-of-band update KB5068221 to fix Office compatibility issues. Windows 11 23H2 and 22H2 received their scheduled KB5065790, and Windows 10 users got KB5066198, a historic update. Since it's the final non-security update for Windows 10 before support officially ends, this ties into another big announcement. Extended security updates, ESUs, for Windows 10. Microsoft revealed that in the European economic area, users will get one extra year of security updates without being forced to share personal data or pay additional fees. That's a significant move, especially considering how many businesses and individuals are still running Windows 10. On top of that, Microsoft confirmed it will deprecate WHCP, Windows Hardware Compatibility Program, and HLK, Hardware Lab Kit, for Windows 10, signaling a shift in focus toward Windows 11 and beyond. Insider Program, slow but not silent. The Windows Insider Program has been unusually quiet this week. We only saw one new build in the Canary Channel, Build 27954, which mainly brought general improvements and a small networking fix. No groundbreaking features, but stability updates are always welcome. The dev, beta, and release preview channels didn't receive any new builds, which might be disappointing for insiders who enjoy testing fresh features. But sometimes, silence in the insider program means Microsoft is preparing bigger things behind the scenes. There was, however, an update to the Microsoft Photos app. For users with Copilot Plus PCs, the Photos app now includes automatic photo categorization. Currently, only four categories are available, but it's a clear sign that Microsoft wants to make photos smarter and more AI-driven. Expect more categories and better sorting in future updates, useful apps, guides, and trivia. This week also brought us some handy tips and interesting tools. First up, there's a new guide explaining how to reduce memory consumption in Microsoft Edge. If you're someone who always has too many tabs open, this is a lifesaver, especially for PCs with limited RAM. Then we have Windowsill a brand new app from a Microsoft engineer. It adds a completely new taskbar panel filled with extra tools and shortcuts, making Windows even more customizable. It's perfect for power users who want more control over their desktop experience. And here's a fun one. Microsoft veteran Raymond Chen shared some Windows trivia this week. In his latest blog post, he explained the online nature of Windows 3.0's WinHelp system. It's a nostalgic reminder of how long Microsoft has been experimenting with online first features. Long before cloud computing was even a buzzword, new releases and updates from Microsoft and partners one of the biggest non-Windows announcements this week came from Qualcomm. They officially unveiled the second generation of Snapdragon X Elite processors, along with an even more powerful Extreme tier. 
These new chips are designed for ARM-powered Copilot Plus PCs and bring higher core counts, larger cache, faster clock speeds, and a much stronger neural processing unit for AI tasks. In plain terms, these processors will make Windows on ARM devices faster, more efficient, and better at AI-driven features. If you've been waiting for a serious competitor to Intel and AMD laptops, this could be the breakthrough moment. Meanwhile, in the Microsoft ecosystem, we learned that Samsung plans to remove OneDrive integration from its devices in favor of Samsung Cloud. That's a surprising shift, considering how deeply Microsoft and Samsung have collaborated over the past few years. Microsoft's own PowerToys utility also got a small update to version 0.94.2, fixing installation bugs. But the real excitement is in version 0.95, which will introduce the light switch module. This will let users automatically switch between light and dark themes based on time or preference. A simple feature, but one that Windows users have been requesting for years. Other notable updates include Microsoft, Google, and Apple facing investigations into how well they protect users from online scams. A small but visible color scheme adjustment in Office apps showing Microsoft's ongoing push for design consistency. Microsoft 365 Copilot expanding beyond OpenAI, now integrating Anthropic's AI models. LinkedIn data being used to train AI and improve targeted advertising. Reports that Microsoft is building an AI marketplace where publishers can be paid for their content. And finally, the general availability of Windows ML for developers. Giving more tools to build AI-powered apps inside Windows. Gaming news, Tokyo Game Show 2025, and now, let's talk gaming. The Tokyo Game Show 2025 wrapped up this week with some exciting announcements. We saw brand new game reveals, updates on anticipated titles, and a fresh wave of trailers that had fans buzzing. While some of the biggest announcements are still under wraps until later this year, the show made it clear that 2026 is shaping up to be an incredible year for both PC and console gaming. With new titles pushing graphics, storytelling, and AI-driven mechanics, the line between PC and console experiences continues to blur. Deals of the week as always, we can't wrap up without mentioning some great deals. From Windows laptops and accessories to gaming hardware, this week's discounts are worth checking out if you're looking to upgrade your setup. Pair that with the latest Windows 11 updates, and you'll be ready for the next generation of productivity and entertainment. Closing thoughts, so that's everything you need to know from this week in tech. From the upcoming launch of Windows 11 25H2, to the final updates for Windows 10, to Qualcomm's next-gen Snapdragon X2 processors, smarter apps like Photos and Power Toys, and exciting gaming news from Tokyo Game Show 2025, the tech world is moving fast. If you enjoyed this recap, don't forget to like this video, share it with friends, and subscribe to TouchTrove for more weekly news updates. And remember to hit the bell icon so you're always first to know what's new in Windows, gaming, and cutting-edge tech.